Police need your help finding a man who turned a woman's morning jog into a nightmare, and they think they might have caught him on camera. The woman says she was out for a run in Edmonds, and it happened near Bodoan Way and 88th Avenue West, not far from Yost Park, as you see on the map there. Well, police believe they caught the man right here in this video. They say he ran up behind her and attacked her. Hannah Kim talked to the woman who was attacked, and she's sharing her story tonight and hopes someone will recognize him. It was really fast, and I was still kind of in shock when I was on the ground thinking, oh my God, this is really happening. A jog in this Edmonds neighborhood ending in a fight for survival for Jacqueline Goss Lacoste. Jacqueline says in the middle of her run, a man came up behind her. He grabbed my shoulders and shook me pretty bodily and then threw me down and I was screaming and he was still kind of coming at me until I started kind of kicking around. Jacqueline fought off the man who appeared to be trying to get on top of her. I don't know what he was expecting to do there on the side of the road. She is in disbelief and pain. My neck feels like sore from kind of being shaken and then thrown down that force. Um, my whole side is, you know, hurting all the way up to my lower back. Edmonds police releasing this video showing a person of interest caught on surveillance shortly after the attack in the same neighborhood. Police say the man's clothing matches Jacqueline's description. I don't understand why people do that to each other and I mean, I hope that that doesn't happen to anybody else. This mother of two says her morning runs are a way to decompress. Not anymore. That's my, my safe route. That's my sanity. That's something that I like doing every day. And I definitely feel scared. Hannah Kim, Q13 News. Oh, boy. You know, and there's a device called the defense alert device. It's one of the many you can get out there. A lot of people don't want to carry mace or pepper spray, but I think this, this is, is a it. great device. We had some of our viewers test this a couple of years ago. This is and really lightweight. Exactly. And it, you can't come off your hand, so you can run with it. Mm -hmm. It's got a strong pepper spray that comes out of the end right here. It's got a light on the bottom, and it uses crowdsourcing technology. So if you set off the pepper spray, it will alert everybody uh, that you know on your list that has the same app that you need help and they can call police. But the primary use I think is that it can't be knocked out of your hand. Nope. And you can, Got you it. can, you, it will knock somebody down if you spray them. So yeah. And see that light. I yeah. mean, that will scare somebody that yeah. will alert people around you exactly. before yeah. you even have to let out that maze. Right. Exactly. So just another tool to help you keep you safe. Uh, you can go to our website, q13fox.com. You can search defense alert device or dad, D period, A period, D. It was designed by a guy in Utah who has seven daughters and he felt like they needed some protection. It's for exactly for cases like that.